Okay, so here we are, another day at Elstree, playing with the SPS, tinkering and spotting and customising the screens to look a bit better. Now you see that I've still got on my aircraft list some gaps in operator logos. This one here hasn't got a registration and this one here hasn't got a registration, therefore it can't look it up. Now, as you know, I've got active display light running, that can't cover everything. Um, so some of these registrations are just because I haven't currently got it running. Some of them are missing because it doesn't know what they are. So we're going to um, have a look at installing the, uh, the stuff that's available on the Kinetic download website. So as usual, shut down base station. And if you've looked at my other videos, you'll see how to make some make folders. But just a quick reminder, right hand click, new folder select that and name it and I've got my new folder um, already I've called it SPS add-ons go to kinetic.co.uk which hopefully from last time you will have set as your home page so you don't have to look too far SPS resource downloads um, there's logos as outlines etc I'm missing out logos so I've decided this time no reason just because I am I'm going to use the SBS resources logos. I'm also going to use the uh, where are we? The high res airlines, airfield. Sorry. I'm going to download the radio files, and I'm going to download the SQB file. So usual thing applies. Save, save it to the downloads folder. And then once you've saved it, do the usual computer name, downloads, and we have the SQB file. I've already, as I said, downloaded mine into the SPS add-on folder, so here we are. So, where do they go? What do we do with them? Well, first of all, we have the SQB file. This is the database that saves all the aircraft you've seen and it saves their registrations, their operator flag codes, etc. So, if we go into the virtual store, which is Start, Kinetic, App Data, and just in case anybody missed our previous video, to get App Data to show if it's hidden, go to Organize, Folder and Search Options, View, and ensure you tick the box that says Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives, Apply and OK. So there we are, app data, local, virtual store, program files, x86 on the 64-bit kinetic and base station. There we are. So the first thing I'm going to do is find my existing SQB file. Right hand click on it and you have to make sure you select it first. Right hand click, rename and we'll call it base station called and if you want to save them regularly you can put the date so today's date 8 8 12 so I know what date it's old because I might do another one tomorrow and so on and so on and then I get the base station SQB file that I've downloaded from our resources area right hand click copy go into that base station folder right hand click paste and there we have the new SQB file now while we've got it open we're going to do the SBSR logos there's all our logos now you don't want to select one at a time and copy them over so if we go organize select all right hand click copy and then just go to the operator flags folder scroll our way down to the bottom right hand click and paste and it's copying them now there will be some duplicates and it will come up and ask you what you want to do with duplicates like this first of all the 7733 conflict so do this for the next 7733 copy and replace okay so what it's going to do is it's going to 
replace any with the same style as I'm installing. That does mean that if you've downloaded some, they might look different next time you load base station. So if you particularly like one, you'll have to go back and get it afterwards. So there we are. It's just uh, coming to the end and it's copying over the files. And that's done. Okay, so now that's finished, let's see what else we want to do. So we've got the logos, the radio files. Okay, the radio files, what they're for, this is all UK radio files, and they are to tune the tuner to your local geographical aircraft frequency. So if you're at Heathrow, you right hand click, it says select a local frequency. This is an updated selection. So I'm just going to say select all, right click, copy, which we seem to do a lot. Back over here, and the radio files go. Where did the radio files though? Good point. Remember that we've got two kinetic folders. Radio frequencies go here. Paste. Do this for the next six. Copy and replace. Continue. So what we've done is we found the folder which is not in the virtual store for the radio frequencies. So it's start computer C drive program files kinetic base station and so on until you get the radio frequencies so we've done that now back to my virtual store for the next part that we want to add on with the logos at the SQB the high res airfields as I said to you in the past if you install every single airfield it will slow down when you load up I'm at Elstree Aerodrome so I'm going to download Elstree double click on it now there are three files so we will collect all three of those right click copy outlines bring this down till we find the clear area in fact you can do it here you just need a clear area so you're not going to attach a file and then paste so that's now put Elstree now don't just copy those folders over you have to copy the contents and there are three why are there three well I'll show you why this I'll explain to you why there's three sorry these are the high res ones so there are three outlines for each airport uh, there are buildings there are roads approaches etc so if we now restart base station we should see a few changes the first of which we hopefully will see more operator flanks populated and more registrations populated which we have there we are no gaps now now if I come here remember I saved my default screen so I've got homes in the middle here is L Street we'll center the screen here Okay, if you've ever flown into Elstree Aerodrome, you'll know there's a reservoir here and here, and they're actually on there. Here's the runway, and if I can zoom in a little bit further, let's see if it'll let me, there are some buildings. There's this building here, which is a hangar, and then there's another building down here, which is the kinetic hangar, and that's where we live. So if we zoom back out again, we now have the the high-res outlines um, there are some settings and if you look at sbsresources.com you'll find optimal settings for displaying those to their best advantage okay you're looking at me again just a quick um, word so you can see quite easily you can navigate your way around the infrastructure of the base station program and add tweaks and enhancements 
and the next few videos I put up will cover things like getting the radio to work, using the radio without um, external speakers, how to use the digital radio uh, with, with codecs like VLC, so how to get that all up and running. And um, if there's any particular issues that you don't see covered, send an email to support at kinetic.co.uk that's support at kinetic.co.uk and I'll see if I can cover it for you. Um, if you uh, if you like the format of the videos, fine. If you don't, let me know and we'll see what we can do. I don't want to do high budget blockbuster videos. I want to do short informative videos that guide you through setting up and getting the best out base station. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Enjoy.